This is Living Miracles Productions. To learn more about David Hoffmeister and the Living Miracles community, please visit www.acim.cc and www.acim.me. So I don't have anything good to say. I want to hear what this man has to say. Yo no tengo nada más que decir. Al contrario, yo lo que estoy aquí es esperando escuchar lo que él tiene que decir. Well, thank you all for coming tonight. Bueno, gracias a todos ustedes por venir esta tarde. It's always an honor to be with you. Siempre es para mí un honor poder estar entre un grupo como ustedes. And uh, to rejoice in a spirituality that is a presence, a state of mind. Y estar todos alegres de estar ante esta presencia que es en realidad un estado de la mente, la presencia del espíritu. A lot of us are familiar with religions and theologies. But religion is just meant to point us towards an actual experience. One time I asked Jesus, what is religion? And he said, it is peace of mind. Y él me dijo, es paz uh, there are many different concepts in this world. Hay en este mundo. And there are many pathways to God. Y hay vías hacia Dios. There is not only one pathway. No un solo But all of the pathways pass through forgiveness. Pero todos los And that is what uh, I want us to talk about tonight. You felt the presence. That you yeah. <laughs> so um, we will call on Spirit Santos, on the Holy Spirit, for uh, to bring us clarity and, and a blessing. Vamos a llamar al Espíritu Santo a que nos traiga claridad. Really, in spirit, we are all the same one. En realidad, en espíritu, todos somos uno. Even though it seems we have different personalities and wear different masks. Incluso si aparentemente todos representamos personalidades diferentes y tenemos máscaras diferentes. So, for the last uh, 22 years, I have been traveling around the world. Por mi parte, yo en los últimos 22 años he estado viajando por todo el mundo. And having heart to heart talks. Y he tenido pláticas de corazón a corazón. Because we all have the answer inside of us. Porque todos nosotros tenemos las respuestas en nuestro interior. And we are just joining together to get in touch with what is in our heart. Y en realidad lo que estamos haciendo es unirnos para entrar en contacto con lo que hay en nuestros corazones. How to unlearn this ego. ¿Cómo a este ego? Because the ego was not created by God. El ego no fue por Dios. The ego is just a belief system that tries to deny God. El ego es un de que trata de a Dios. And it is possible to transcend the ego entirely. Y es posible trascender el ego totalmente. 
I can honestly tell you, I have not had a bad day in many, many years. Y honestamente puedo decirles que no he tenido un mal día en muchos, muchos años. So I live a very happy life. Así pues, yo vivo una vida muy feliz. And I owe the credit to listening to Jesus. Y todo el crédito se lo debo a escuchar a Jesús. I, I started hearing his voice about 25 years ago. Empecé a escuchar su voz hará unos 25 años. And by following his instructions, he has simplified my life. Jesus is not someone that is, that is far off in the distance. Jesus live in our hearts, but he wants to shine through all of us. Our lives are meant to be like Jesus in action. Until we merge with the mind of Christ. And experience our own holiness. Y and can feel the holiness in everyone that we meet. Y la en todas las con nos and when our mind becomes very still. Y mente esté muy quieta, and has no more ego chatter. Y ya no toda esa del ego, and no more judgments. Y no Then we come to a state of acceptance. Entonces, a un de and a state of contentment. Y un de en, en y con That is when we can truly rest. Y es so, I would like this evening to become a very practical exercise for all of us. I only go where I am invited to go. Yo voy a donde me uh, religion is not something to be proselytized or to try to convince somebody else about. It's only ourselves that needs to be convinced. A los que que es a And when we are convinced, we take on a very peaceful attitude. Y una vez que una muy And our attitude does the teaching. Y es la que la Sometimes we can use words, but most of the time it's smiles and laughter. A veces podemos utilizar palabras, pero la mayor parte del tiempo son las sonrisas, la risa. Yeah. I've been able to hug many people around the world. Yo he podido abrazar a muchas personas en todo el yeah. mundo. And I can feel my heart opening up with each hug. Y de hecho puedo sentir como con cada abrazo se va abriendo mi corazón. 
because it is the most natural thing to love. Porque es lo más natural el amar. And we do not need to defend ourselves. Y no necesitamos defendernos. We just learn to trust the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit show the way. So, I have come to Mexico before, but usually to pray and meditate. I just come down here, look out over the ocean, uh, enjoy the peace and quiet. Vengo a México, me quedo contemplando el mar y gozando el silencio y la paz. I enjoy the slow pace. A mí me gusta el ritmo desacelerado. Yes. I take siestas. Tomo <laughs> siesta. Yes. I learned that in South America, but I, I, I practice everywhere. Aquí en Sudamérica, pero lo practico en todas partes. Yes. But when Bob asks me and uh, Francis and Suzanne to come down to speak, we agreed to come and speak. And, and actually this is also, her name is Yuhong in uh, <laughs> Chinese. Bueno, Francis también tiene su nombre chino, que es Yuhong. That's because he's very popular down here too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, even though I have been doing this for many years, um, these are my dear friends who are practicing and living the same life that I am. And most of the times people are very curious, they just ask us a lot of questions. How how do you live a life guided by spirit? Because we still use the same symbols of the world that everyone uses. But we just use the symbols for communication. I don't know that we have any hobbies. We used to have hobbies. <laughs> but those have kind of fallen away. Um, sometimes uh, people want to take us sightseeing. <laughs> but uh, we're more interested in inner vision. And, and I know I've seen many, many sites, and so have they. We've each been in about 30 countries. Yeah, so we've seen many sites. <laughs> but we're really most interested in peace of mind. And I can say that all of us uh, hear this inner guidance. Y puedo decir que todos nosotros aquí tenemos esta guía interior. Uh, this is why we have fun traveling together. Y nosotros por eso nos divierte viajar juntos. Because we're listening to the same guidance. Porque estamos siempre escuchando la misma guía. We don't get into arguments about where to eat or what to eat. No discutimos dónde vamos a comer o qué vamos a comer. Yeah, we're, we don't have the typical conversations. No tenemos las conversaciones típicas. If they recorded our conversations, they would be very astounded to hear what we talk about. Si alguien grabara nuestras conversaciones, les asombraría mucho de lo que hablamos. Yeah. And so, we want to be very transparent and very open with all of you. Y entonces nosotros queremos ser muy transparentes y muy abiertos con todos ustedes. We can talk about things in our life, we call them the parables of our life. Podemos hablar acerca de aspectos de nuestras vidas, lo que nosotros llamamos las parábolas de nuestras vidas. But we no longer identify with these stories. Pero nosotros ya no nos identificamos con esas historias. We are not very sentimental. No somos muy sentimentales. Uh, we are not uh, nostalgic. No somos nostálgicos. 
We are not yearning for memories from the past. No anhelamos los recuerdos del pasado. And we have no ambition between us. Y entre nosotros no hay ambiciones. And no future goals. <laughs> Tampoco tenemos metas para el futuro. But we really aren't lazy. <laughs> we're, we're just, we are not. We are not. <laughs> no, no. Uh, we have a lot of energy and vitality. <laughs> but we do not aim it into the future. We like being fully present. And meeting everyone we meet in the present moment. Y conocer a todos los que conocemos en el momento presente. Um, we don't really care much about the past at all. En realidad, no nos interesa el pasado para nada. It has just lost all of its interest. Porque para nosotros el pasado ha perdido interés. So in one sense, our life has become like a living meditation. Entonces, en un cierto sentido, nuestra vida se ha convertido como en una meditación viviente. You don't really have to close your eyes to meditate. Uno en realidad no tiene que cerrar los ojos para meditar. And your body can be in motion and you can still be meditating. Y de, de hecho su cuerpo puede estar moviéndose y seguir meditando. Because it's just having a very still mind. Porque lo que está teniendo es una mente que está muy quieta. So, really, tonight will be uh, an interaction with us and everyone. Así es que esta tarde lo que vamos a tener es una interacción de ustedes con nosotros y de todo el mundo también. And sí. we want you to feel free to ask any question at all. Así es que queremos que se sientan en la libertad de hacer cualquier pregunta que deseen. You don't have to be concerned that a question is too personal. No les preocupe si sienten que su pregunta es demasiado personal. People like to ask me lots of personal questions. Porque a la gente le encanta hacerme muchas preguntas de tipo personal. <coughs> and I'm not the least bit embarrassed by these questions. Y en lo más mínimo me apenan estas preguntas. Because I'm identified with the spirit of Christ and not with David. Porque yo estoy identificado con el espíritu de Cristo y no con David. And Christ is never embarrassed. Y Cristo jamás se apena. You can you can say anything. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Believe me, they know. <laughs> and they will give a testimony to the way that I live. I do not live like a light switch, uh, sometimes turned on and sometimes turned off. Yo no vivo como un interruptor de luz que a veces está encendido y a veces está apagado. My switch is always on. Mi interruptor <laughs> siempre está prendido. And, and then you can have vitality and joy and energy. Y uno así puede tener vitalidad y alegría y energía. All of the world becomes very funny. Y todo el mundo se vuelve algo muy divertido. Uh, you never take anything too serious. Porque jamás tomas nada demasiado en serio. And you have much laughter every day, laughing at the common things. That's how you know it's the Holy Spirit. Y así es como sabes que es el Espíritu Santo. Lots of joy and laughter. Mucha alegría, mucha risa. So, you may ask questions about uh, relationships. Pueden ustedes hacer preguntas acerca de relaciones, si quieren. Or health and sickness. O de salud y enfermedad or about economics and finances. O acerca de la economía y las finanzas. Uh, you can ask about death. Pueden preguntar acerca de la muerte. Uh, to me, there are no longer any mysteries. Porque para mí ya no hay misterios. I don't find anything in this world mysterious. Yo ya no encuentro nada de este mundo misterioso. Because in Christ, all things are known. Porque en Cristo, todas las cosas son conocidas. Not known in a specific way. No conocidas de una manera específica. But known in a way that you can laugh. Pero sí conocidas de una manera en que uno se puede reír. And that's really what you want in your heart, just to be able to laugh. Y eso es lo que auténticamente quieres en tu corazón, ser capaz de reír. So, just as a brief introduction, um, 
I started working with A Course in Miracles back in 1986. So I don't count years, but that's over a quarter of a century. <laughs> And um, I don't read the book anymore. I haven't read the book for quite a few years. The book is just designed to put you in contact with Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So you can live the experience for yourself para que uno pueda vivir la por uno mismo. and go beyond the words. E ir más allá de las and also uh, maybe uh, Francis and Suzanne can give a brief uh, introduction. <laughs> no sé si <laughs> Yuhong. 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 There we go, Francis. Do you want to go first, Suzanne? Chinese. Chinese. It's beautiful to be here with all of you. Es muy bello estar aquí con todos ustedes. It's really what uh, my life is about now, is just joining in the truth. Y de eso es de lo que se trata mi vida ahora, es de estar unidos todos en la verdad. Um... At times we go out and travel around the world. En ocasiones salimos de viaje, viajamos por todo el mundo. And other times we go more into the silence. Otras veces entramos más en el silencio. And both ways feels very beautiful to me now at this time in my life. Y de cualquiera de esas dos maneras estoy yo ahorita en un momento de mi vida en que encuentro todo ello muy hermoso. It has not always been that way. No siempre fue así en el pasado. I studied the course since uh, 1988. Yo estudié el curso como por 1988. And uh, about five years ago I hit a ceiling with my study. Y hace como unos cinco años sentí que ya había llegado a un techo en mis estudios. I wasn't able to go into a consistent state of peace and joy. Ya no podía entrar en un estado consistente de paz y alegría. And even though I felt very resonant with the Course of Miracles, y si bien mucho con el curso de milagros, I didn't feel a consistency that Jesus promises us in the Course of Miracles. And I kept hearing I needed to go deeper. Yo que ir más And I felt like I was willing, but I didn't know how. Y sentía que estaba dispuesta a hacerlo, pero no sabía cómo. And because of the devotion in my heart, y debido a la devoción en mi corazón, I was able to receive a notice in the email about David. Pudo, pude recibir un aviso en internet acerca de David. And then things began to change very fast. Y entonces las cosas se empezaron a cambiar muy rápido. My heart opened. I could feel that he had taken the Course of Miracles all the way. Mi corazón se abrió porque yo podía sentir que le había llevado el, el curso de milagros hasta sus últimas consecuencias. So there was a lot of fear in my mind. Entonces en mi mente había mucho miedo. Because I thought it meant sacrificing things in my life. Porque yo pensaba que esto significaba que tendría que sacrificar muchas cosas en mi vida. And like in the manual for teacher, Jesus teaches us that there is a period of relinquishment. Where we really have to look at the concepts and, and beliefs and attachments in our mind. And this is the part that I had been avoiding for a lot of years. Por años. I was focused on the, the miracle, on love, on trying to feel good. And that worked for a while. It opened my heart up. But then it was as if I was to go deeper. Pero luego sentí ya la necesidad de ir más profundo. And so, in working with David, I was able to confront some of these uh, strong attachments to the world. Y entonces, trabajando con David, pude confrontar estos fuertes apegos que yo tenía con el mundo. 
And this is where most students of A Course in Miracles uh, don't want to go. Y es ahí donde muchos estudiantes de Curso de Milagros no quieren entrar. And what I've seen through the past four years of passing through some of the darkness, y lo que he visto en estos últimos cuatro años en que he pasado a través de la oscuridad, is that nothing that I was ever attached to could ever compare to this experience. Es que nada de lo que yo había estado apegada puede compararse con esta experiencia. But like Jesus teaches us in the Course of Miracles, we have to go through the darkness to get to the light. Pero como nos enseña Jesús en el curso de milagros, tenemos que atravesar por la oscuridad para poder llegar a la luz. And that takes courage. Y para ello se requiere valor. And it takes mighty companions. Y se requiere a unos compañeros muy poderosos. And so the devotion in my heart called forth my mighty companion, David. And uh, as, as the purpose, as I chose the single purpose in my life to devote myself to God, more mighty companions came as well. Han ido llegando más compañeros poderosos. So I feel like when we all gather together like this, it's because we all have a call in our heart. Entonces, yo tengo la sensación de cuando estamos reunidos todos como estamos aquí, pues es porque hemos respondido a un llamado en nuestros corazones. So I feel uh, very honored to be here because we all share that same devotion. Y es por ello que me siento muy honrada de estar aquí and I look forward to just joining with you and being with you and connecting around some of these truths. Because there's no better way to spend our time. I had everything the world could give in my life. En mi vida he tenido todo lo que el mundo me hubiera podido dar. I had a lot of money, I had good relationships, I had a nice house, I had all the good things. Tuve mucho dinero, buenas relaciones, una buena casa, tenía todas las buenas cosas. But I kept being pulled towards something that was unseen. Pero ahora he sentido que he sido jalada hacia algo que no se puede ver. And when I stopped trying to mix the two worlds, my life shifted completely. Y cuando dejé de tratar de mezclar los dos mundos, mi vida tuvo un desplazamiento que la llevó a cambiarse totalmente. And I feel like that's the only worthy use of time is for forgiveness. Y ahora veo que el único uso de tiempo que vale la pena es para el perdón. Because it takes us into an experience that's consistent and that brings us to an awareness that nothing from outside of us can ever affect us. Porque me doy cuenta que el perdón nos lleva a un estado mental que es consistente, ya que tomemos conciencia de que nada más importa más que el perdón. So I'm just in deep appreciation to be here with, with you, and I look forward to the weekend together. Así es que estoy en una muy, en un muy profundo, una sensación de un muy profundo agradecimiento por estar aquí con ustedes y espero con mucho interés este fin de semana que vamos a pasar juntos. Okay. Okay. Yes, um, my name is Frances and I'm very grateful to be here. Yo soy Frances y estoy muy agradecida por la oportunidad de estar aquí. I, this is the third time that I'm in Mexico. Esta es la tercera vez que visito México. And the last two times, um, I was like David, I was here just to pray and just to be in meditation. Y las últimas dos veces, al igual que como ya dijo David, yo vine a México simplemente para rezar y para meditar. And I trust exactly like what Suzanne said, the reason that the three of us come here to talk is because the Spirit and you called us to come and want to pull something out of us. Y yo siento, como dijo Susan, que la razón por la que nosotros estamos aquí es porque el Espíritu de ustedes nos llamó. Nos llamó <coughs> para que estuviéramos aquí y que algo saliera de nuestros corazones hacia todos ustedes. Um, I came across the Course of Miracles um, about, I can't remember, 
six, seven years ago in, uh, when I lived in Australia. Me topé con el curso de milagros, ya no recuerdo muy bien, pero me parece que fue ahora unos seis o siete años cuando vivía en Australia. And after I got into the course, actually before that, it was a very mystical experience because I heard a big voice telling me to wait for something very important to happen. Y recuerdo que poco antes de tomar el curso de milagros, yo podía escuchar una voz muy fuerte que me decía, espérate porque algo muy importante va a pasar. And that, that event turned out to be meeting David in Australia. Y ese evento resultó ser conocer a David en Australia. And that changed my life completely. Y ese encuentro cambió mi vida totalmente. And if I summarize my life right now, I use the word mystical. Y si resumiera mi vida actualmente, la palabra que emplearía sería místico. Because I realize the course is actually taking us not to a happiness and joy that this world offers. It's something beyond this world. Porque me doy cuenta que lo que ofrece el curso no es nada más la alegría y la dicha que ofrece este mundo, sino que nos lleva a conectarnos con algo fuera de este mundo. And I, like Suzanne did, um, to achieve this, I actually relinquished or let go of everything I valued in this world. Y como en el caso de Susan, yo me di cuenta que para lograr esto, yo tenía que renunciar o soltar todos mis apegos a lo que era de este mundo. But that was a starting point to let go of things and, you know, processions and things in this world. It was only a beginning. Pero me di cuenta que el soltar los apegos y las posesiones de este mundo eran únicamente un punto de partida. A Cross in Miracles says we need to let go of all the beliefs that we, we value about this world. El curso de milagros nos dice que debemos soltar y dejar ir todas nuestras creencias, las creencias que tenemos en este mundo. Because really all the pains and sufferings is caused by our identification with this separate self, with okay. the ego. Porque en realidad todo nuestro dolor, todo nuestro sufrimiento viene por nuestra identificación con ese ser separado que es el ego. And I used to value, everything that I value is to strengthen the ego in the past. En el pasado todo a lo que yo solía darle valor era aquello que simplemente reforzaba el ego. What does the ego value? Me fijaba en lo que el ego valoraba. Value getting. El ego valora obtener. Values competition. Valora la competencia. Comparison. Valora las comparaciones. Anything to make the body get attention. O cualquier cosa que hace que el cuerpo tenga atención. And what does the spirit value? Y en cambio, ¿qué es lo que valora el espíritu? The spirit values giving. El espíritu valora dar. Spirit values union. El espíritu valora la unión. The spirit values inclusion. El espíritu valora la inclusión. The spirit values forgiveness. El espíritu valora el perdón. So really, it's all this, you know, this work is to change from the one thought system, everything that we value, to the other system. Entonces, en lo que consiste este sistema es cambiar todo lo que nosotros valoramos en un sistema por lo que tiene valor en otro sistema. And when I joined with David first, I learned to tune in to follow the Holy Spirit's guidance. Y cuando yo conocí a David, yo aprendí cómo sintonizarme y seguir la, la guía del Espíritu Santo. The Spirit really guides us in a very specific way. Porque el Espíritu Santo nos guía de manera muy específica. But when we actually choose to listen to the Spirit, Y lo que uno tiene que hacer es verdaderamente escuchar al Espíritu. We already chose another system. We already choose to listen to a voice that opens us up. To cuando estamos dispuestos a cambiar es cuando empezamos a escuchar esta voz que nos dice o que nos invita a abrirnos. Open us up to giving. Abrirnos a dar. Opens up to inclusion. Abrirnos a la inclusión and opens up to complete letting go of anything about this body concerns, concern of the body. A completamente soltar todo aquello que concierne al cuerpo. 
So I'm just really honored to be here to share my experience. Entonces yo me siento muy honrada por esta oportunidad de estar aquí con ustedes para compartirles mi experiencia. Thank you. Gracias. So before I open it up to questions, I'll just again say that that um, as we experience our lives now, um, it is different from our lives in the past. For example, in our past lives, there were times where we were uh, bored. Por ejemplo, en nuestras vidas pasadas hubo momentos en que nos sentíamos aburridos. And therefore we needed entertainment. Y entonces necesitábamos algo que nos entretuviera. And distractions. Y que nos distrajera. No more. Pero ya no más. Uh, in the past, uh, all of us uh, did this thing called dating. <laughs> entonces, en el pasado nosotros hacíamos esa cosa que se llama, pues, hacer salir en citas. We, we used to date. <laughs> yes. But now, no, we don't have any more dating. Uh, because, But it's not a sacrifice. No, because all, <laughs> because all of the relationships are given to us. And I, I feel like we're actually dating every day. Because we meet new people. It's like a date. Every day we have we're dating with the spirit. We're dating every day with the people. But the difference is we don't have a future outcome in mind. Pero la diferencia es que no estamos planeando un resultado futuro de esa relación. We're not dating to get a partner. Yeah. Es decir, no estamos conociendo gente para tener una pareja. We have lots of holy encounters. Lo que tenemos son muchísimos encuentros sagrados. Uh, where you feel totally connected every moment. En los que nos sentimos totalmente conectados en todo momento. And you don't care about the future. Y no nos importa el futuro. We're never worried if we have a second date because every day is a date. <laughs> Another way that's different is um, uh, we none of us have a, a career. Because a career is a series of jobs on the timeline. Porque eso es una serie de trabajos que se dan en una línea de tiempo. But we don't care about the past or the future. Pero a nosotros no nos importa ni el pasado ni el futuro. If we do have a job, it's to say in the present moment. Si tenemos un trabajo, podemos decir que eso es conservar el momento presente. And as far as I know, there's no no paying jobs for staying in the present moment. Y hasta donde yo sepa, no hay trabajos por los que se pague So we're not concerned about wages, we're concerned about happiness. And happiness is something that you have to keep giving away in order to experience it. You can't take happiness and put it in a bottle and sell the bottle. No puedes embotellar la felicidad ni vender botellas de felicidad. Happiness is not a product. La felicidad no es un producto. And really, we, we are really are not too concerned with products either. Y de hecho, tampoco nos preocupan mucho los productos. Our productivity to the world is zero. Nuestra productividad que le aportamos al mundo es cero. We do not contribute to the gross national product of the United States. Uh, to the governments and to the economies of the world, we are worthless. Someone says, can you do something for me? Yes, the time. Can you, what about no, meditation? Time to pray. So, again, we're interested in peace of mind. We're not interested in producing 
something in the world, some kind of product. Lo que a nosotros world. nos interesa es la paz mental y no producir algo para el mundo. Uh, for many years I traveled around. I didn't have any books or anything like that with me because it just was my joy as the gift. Durante muchísimos años estuve viajando por todas partes y no llevaba ningún libro o ninguna de esas cosas conmigo porque yo lo que sentía era que mi dicha era mi regalo. And I knew that you can't really put joy in a book. Y yo sé que uno no puede poner la dicha dentro de un libro. The joy is way beyond the words. Esto está mucho más allá de las palabras. But when I went down to Colombia, um, they said, don't you have any books at all? <laughs> they said, uh, don't you have some little pocket books so that we can carry in our pockets? <laughs> they said, no, I don't, but I will consider that as a request. So, even though I put everything on the internet for free, some people said, we do not like the internet. <laughs> we want a good old-fashioned book to put in our hands. <laughs> I said, okay, I take the hint. I'll make sure we get, we get some books. Yeah. Yeah. But um, that's that's another way we don't we we don't really um, fit into the normal ways of the world. So I just give you that to let you know that um, that may uh, add to your curiosity of like how what is your life like then without all of those things and more. Entonces simplemente les comparto esto pues para contribuir a su curiosidad de saber bueno cómo vivo yo la vida. Yeah. Yeah. So we open it up. Así pues nos abrimos a sus preguntas comentarios. So you have to eat anyway. You have to. You still have your bodies. You have to eat. You have to to dress yourself. So where do you get the money to do that? Sí. Bueno, de alguna manera tú todavía tienes que comer, tienes que vestir tu cuerpo. ¿De dónde sale el dinero para hacer eso? Yes, well, I was inspired by, <coughs> by Jesus and St. Francis and Mother Teresa and this thing called Divine Providence. Okay. Yo pues, recibí la inspiración de Jesús, de San Francisco, de la Madre Teresa, de la Divina Providencia. So, what they, they told me was, they said, if you are used as an instrument for God, Y lo que ellos me dijeron es, si tú eres usado como un instrumento de Dios, like Saint Francis's prayer, Lord, make me an instrument. Como dice la oración de San Francisco, hazme un instrumento. That I was told everything else would be handled. Entonces me dijeron, no, todo lo demás se queda, nos encargaremos de todo lo demás. So in 1991, I decided to test the divine providence. I said, I will travel, I will let you speak through me, and smile and laugh, and I won't be concerned about anything of this world. So, I said, to Jesus, if you want me to travel, I can I can walk, or I'll need a car, or some money for a train, or a plane, or a bus. And, uh, yes, and for food, back then, I, I needed the food. <laughs> now, it's if I one meal a day, just one small meal, it fills you up. Yeah. That's another thing. Our appetites have gone tinier and tinier. And so, I realized that I would have to be open to receive 
uh, support in many different ways. Entonces yo me di cuenta que yo tenía que estar abierto a recibir apoyo que me vendría de muchas formas diferentes. But the difference was that I didn't have to believe that David personally had to figure out a way to provide for those needs. Pero lo que yo me di cuenta es que yo no tenía que creer que David personalmente era el que tenía que proveer lo necesario para satisfacer esas necesidades. So since 1991, as I said, I've been in 31 countries and 49 of the United States uh, doing much travel. Entonces, desde 1991, he viajado por 31 países y 49 de los Estados, de los Estados Unidos, y he viajado muchísimo. And for five of those years, um, I did not have a, a house, apartment, a tent, I just was off traveling every day, not knowing where I would even sleep at night. Y por cinco de esos años, yo estuve viajando sin preocuparme si yo iba a tener una casa, un apartamento, una tienda de campaña. Simplemente me lancé al camino. So in that sense, I was homeless for five years. En ese sentido, no tuve casa, fui un vagabundo por cinco años. But I always remembered what Jesus taught in the Bible. Pero yo siempre recordaba las enseñanzas de Jesús en la Biblia. He said the, the birds of the, of the air have their nests. Él nos dijo, las aves que están en el aire tienen sus nidos. And the foxes have their holes. Y las zorras tienen sus hoyos, sus but, escondidos. But the, sun, but the son, son of man has no place to lay his head. Pero el hijo del hombre no tiene ningún lugar donde descarga, descansar su cabeza. And I remembered how Jesus talked about the lilies of the field. Y yo recuerdo cómo Jesús hablaba de los lirios del campo. And how Jesus lived his life. Y cómo Jesús vivió su vida. Just trusting in God every day. Simplemente poniendo su confianza en Dios todos los días. So I put Jesus to the test and uh, it's worked out very well. <laughs> and all Jesus could say is, I told you so. <laughs> Can I share yeah, something? Um, I also want to share that before I joined with David, um, when I first met him in Australia, Yo también quiero agregar que la primera vez que me uní a David, cuando lo conocí por primera vez en Australia, I had a house. Yo tenía una casa. And, um, I, and after the retreat, I, I knew that David needed a place to stay. Y yo sabía que después del retiro, David necesitaba un lugar donde quedarse. And he already talked to another friend who offered him a place to stay. But I felt compelled. I felt compelled to give my house over to have them stay in my house. So I, I invited them and they said they already had a place to stay, but they will keep my invitation in mind. Yo les, yo les dije, miren, yo los invito a mi casa, yo sé que ya les ofrecieron otro lugar donde quedarse, pero por favor no se olviden de que está mi casa. So after a day, they, they somehow they decided to come over to my house. Y después de un día, ellos decidieron llegar a mi casa. <coughs> and I have to leave, so I'm not going to even spend time with them. I have to be on, on my own trip to somewhere. Y yo de hecho tenía que irme porque yo tenía que hacer un viaje a alguna parte. Yo ni siquiera just, iba a quedar en la casa. But when they said they're going to come to my house, I felt like almost like fireworks started to blow and there was a huge joy for me. <laughs> and David said to me, he said that everything that's provided to him, he saw it as a spirit. So that's exactly how the spirit works. Y así es como el and I have my experience myself right now. Y yo misma por esta when I travel, just doing exactly what spirit asked me to do. Yo he y hago lo que el I know. Me pide. 
and the spirit inspires my brother to provide or to support, seemingly through other people, but it's their joy as well because I have experienced it. El espíritu inspira a otros a apoyarme, a darme, y yo sé que para ellos es también una alegría hacerlo. Yeah. It's actually a giant trick. De hecho, es un truco enorme that keeps us spinning in the world and chasing these goals that we really don't need to be chasing. Que nos mantiene girando en el mundo ir en persecución de estas metas que no teníamos en principio que estar persiguiendo. It's the ego trick to keep us out of our joy. Y ese es justamente un truco del ego para que no estemos en contacto con nuestra alegría. It's because the ego will say to us, how will I support myself? El ego nos dice, bueno, ¿de qué voy a vivir? And as we practice forgiveness and become more trusting of the Spirit, everything is given. In miraculous ways that we would never expect. En formas milagrosas que jamás esperaríamos. And it's really fun to take those steps even though you can't see how it's going to work out. Y de hecho es muy divertido tomar esos pasos aun cuando no puedes ver inicialmente cómo se van a resolver las cosas. And then you become fearless. Porque cuando tú lo sigues haciendo, entonces ya no tienes miedo. And also you stop wanting so much in the world. Y dejas de desear muchas cosas en el mundo. Because what you wanted, what you thought you were going to get from that experience, you already have an experience within yourself. And that's what all this questing after things of the world is covering over. They can scoot over more. Opening up for questions. Entonces, ahorita estamos abriendo un tiempo para preguntas. And the first question was, how do you get money? <laughs> <laughs> and we we're really into giving. Y nosotros más bien con lo que estamos sintonizados es con dar. And trusting that all of our needs will be met in the giving. Y confiar en que todas nuestras necesidades quedarán satisfechas en el acto de dar. Sí. Pero el acto de dar también se puede dar en un trabajo. Can also take place in the work. Este, y es un campo más difícil si eres un estudiante del curso Milagros y si estás queriendo vivir de acuerdo a lo que dice que son sus enseñanzas. Es un campo muy eh, fuerte para poder perdonar, desatender de lo que de lo que del futuro, desatender de las agendas, lo puedes hacer. ¿Tú qué recomendarías? ¿Cómo hacerle para para aplicarlo más directamente a los trabajos? Yeah. Well, I always looked to the life of Jesus as an example. Yo siempre he so Jesus lived for 30 some years on the earth. And we could tell when he was 12 years old that something important was happening. Because he stayed in the temple talking to the rabbis and didn't even follow his mother and father home. And then he spoke some words to his parents that none of us would say to our parents at 12 years old. <laughs> 
Y él le dijo palabras a sus papás que ninguno de nosotros emplearíamos a los 12 años de edad. He said, don't you know I have to be about my father's business? Él no les, él les dijo, ¿acaso no saben que yo tengo que ocuparme de los asuntos de mi padre? If I had said that when I was 12 years old, si yo hubiera dicho eso a los 12 años de edad me hubieran dado un golpe yeah so clearly at 12 years old Jesus was quite spiritually developed entonces claramente a los 12 años de edad Jesús ya era muy desarrollado espiritualmente but when he grew up into his 20s he still had a, a vocation y cuando creció todavía hacia sus 20 años, él tenía una vocación. He was a carpenter. Carpintero. He had to work and earn money to help help uh, Mary and Joseph and help the family. Él tenía que trabajar y ganar dinero para ayudar a María y a José y ayudar a la familia. And so for that stage of his life, working was was very practical. Entonces durante esa etapa de su vida, el trabajo era algo muy práctico. And it was the same for me. I, I have worked for years in different jobs and occupations. Yeah, it wasn't until when I was in my late 20s that I started to receive my calling. And I'm sure while Jesus was hammering nails and sawing and carpentry work, he was probably pondering like me, what's the purpose of all of this? Yo estoy seguro de que cuando Jesús estaba clavando clavos y cerruchando y haciendo sus trabajos de carpintería, él también estaba meditando, bueno, ¿cuál es el significado de todo esto? And I'm sure Jesus had his forgiveness lessons as he was working as a carpenter. Y yo estoy seguro de que Jesús tuvo sus lecciones en perdón mientras estaba trabajando como carpintero. I'll bet he hit his thumb. Uh, because if you hammer that many nails, he probably, ah! Yo les apuesto que se volvió el dedo cuando estaba trabajando yeah. con ese martillo. Yeah. And, but I got deeper into praying and meditating and and asking what is the most helpful use of my time. So when A Course in Miracles came into my life, I had to be very practical. I had student loans. And I would talk to Jesus and I would say, you know, I have loans, what should I do about uh, these, these debts? He said, I will guide you to jobs. So that you can pay off your debts. It wasn't like, I will go, he didn't say go back to the tree in the backyard and I will make a money tree. <laughs> that would have been much faster. <laughs> But he said, no, I will guide you to jobs. And you will pay off your debt. Yeah. And did I have forgiveness lessons in those jobs? Many. Mucho. Tuve preguntas, tuve lecciones de perdón en esos trabajos, sí, muchas. So, so this went on for some time. Y esto se pasó por algún tiempo. And then, miraculously, <coughs> Jesus found me a, a job teaching psychology at an art institute. Y luego, milagrosamente, Jesús me encontró un trabajo donde yo impartía clases de He's psicología en un estudio de arte que de hecho ahorita me están llamando Jesus or Jesus? Which one? <laughs> oh. But so it was for me an opportunity to to learn to teach the course without using words like Jesus, Holy Spirit which is not good in a school. Yeah. 
Pero para mí eso fue una oportunidad para impartir las lecciones de Cursos de Milagros sin emplear palabras como Jesús o como Espíritu yeah. Santo que no eran bien aceptadas en la escuela. And these were four hour classes. Y estamos hablando de clases de cuatro horas. So I had to surrender everything and let Jesus teach the class for four hours. Entonces yo tenía que rendir todo lo que era de mí y permitir que fuera Jesús quien impartiera las clases por cuatro horas. So after that, the, the, the debts were paid off and he said that's the last job that you will work in the world for money. Y después de eso, bueno, se liquidaron las deudas y Jesús me dijo, ese fue el último trabajo que hiciste en el mundo para recibir dinero a cambio. And that was in 1990. Y eso fue en 1990. And the next year we hit the road. Y el siguiente año, Jesús y yo yeah. emprendimos el cambio. Yeah. So, I say that the Holy Spirit is very practical. Entonces yo siempre digo que el Espíritu Santo es muy práctico. He works with your mind right where it believes it's at. And then he takes you steps to train your mind to become more in alignment with God. And really, the first year that I traveled, my biggest problem was pride. Y de hecho, el primer año en que estuve viajando, mi mayor problema fue el orgullo. Because people would say, um, here, I want you to have some food, or come and stay in my house. And I was like, oh, no, 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 I can't accept. Porque durante ese primer año la gente venía y me decía, oye, mira, quiero darte comida, o ven y quédate en mi casa. Y yo siempre les decía, no, 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 no puedo aceptar. Yeah. Because I was used to providing for myself, and I, I did not want to take handouts, I called call. And then Jesus said, stop saying no. Y Jesús me dijo, Deja de decir no. That is me offering you a place to stay. <laughs> that is me offering you food. <laughs> I just look different in form, but it's really me. <laughs> so it took, it took some time to learn how to trust. Do you feel pain for like when you're sick and I don't know because you know I, in the course of miracles it says that uh, when you, uh, you when you're not identified with your body then you know as they say uh, when Christ died or what when Jesus died he didn't feel any pain because he wasn't identified but I don't know it's like I try it sometimes and it sometimes works, but then like I come back. <laughs> 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 the question is, do you feel pain or when you're sick? Or sometimes in the course of miracles, it tells us that Jesus, when he's sick, 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 when Es que el curso de milagros dice que no nos debemos identificar con nuestro cuerpo. Yeah, yeah, I would say that that earlier in my life there was that perception of pain because I was not aligned with the Holy Spirit completely. En una primera etapa de mi vida sí tenía yo esa percepción del dolor porque yo no estaba alineado completamente con el Espíritu Santo. But as I kept giving myself fully into my function, which is only letting the voice for God speak through me, that has taken the pain out of my perception of the world. So that's why I said at the beginning I have not had a bad day uh, for for many years. Also, I had to realize that the true cause is in the mind. And 
as long as we believe in things like radiation from the sun, or food poisoning, or drinking too much caffeine, or these things, then we believe in an external cause. Siempre y cuando nosotros sigamos creyendo en cosas como las radiaciones solares, o como el envenenamiento a través de los alimentos, o que estamos consumiendo demasiada cafeína, pues todas esas cosas son las que nos mantienen alejadas del pensamiento central, que es no preocuparnos de esas cosas, sino centrarnos en nosotros. Uh, ten years ago I went down to Argentina. Hace 10 años fui a Argentina. And I went out in the swimming pool. Y estuve en una alberca. I was floating on a, on a little blow-up raft. Y estaba flotando en una, en, en una colchoneta, en un inflable. Yeah. Just meditating in the sun. Estaba yo meditando en el sol. And uh, my friend's daughter came out screaming at me. Y la hija de mi amiga llegó gritando. Get out of the sun, David. <laughs> You're going to burn. David, sal del sol, te vas a quemar. And I said, oh no, no. And I started blowing kisses to the sun. <laughs> no, because I, I didn't believe in radiation. Um, one time I gave a talk in Australia. And it was very hot and the sun was beating down. I was on the beach. Estaba haciendo mucho calor, el sol estaba muy fuerte, estaba yo en la playa. And I was giving a talk to a mixed crowd of Course in Miracles and people who didn't know the Course. Y estaba dando clases a un grupo mixto, unos que ya conocían el Curso de Milagros y otros que nunca lo habían tomado. So half of the crowd was saying, this poor white boy is going to be <laughs> burned like a piece of bacon. <laughs> and then the Course in Miracles group was thinking, he's just having fun and he doesn't care about the sun. <laughs> and so, at the end of two hours, the the whole body was bright red. <laughs> and I was having a lot of fun. <laughs> I did not believe in radiation. <laughs> and I did not experience pain. <laughs> but the skin was bright red. <laughs> <laughs> and the Course in Miracles crowd said, look, he had so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest said, see, I told you he'd get burnt to a crisp. <laughs> and they both thought they were right. <laughs> and I didn't correct them. <laughs> You say you hear Jesus Christ, Jesus, is he speaks English, or do you feel the words? <laughs> As for me, he speaks English. I'm sure for others, maybe 2,000 years ago, what was the language back then? Uh, Aramaic. Uh, I've heard him speak in Spanish, too, and to two different people. You hear my Oye, David, tú dices que escuchas a Jesús, a Jesucristo. ¿En qué idioma lo escuchas? ¿Lo escuchas en inglés? Y él dice, bueno, en mi caso yo lo oigo en inglés, pero he escuchado a otras personas que dicen que lo oyen en español. ¿Escuchaste una voz o es algo más bien que sentiste, algo que sentiste en tu corazón? It's very similar to the scribe of the Course, who did not hear an audible voice, but it was like an inner stream of thoughts. Es como lo que se describe en el curso, que no escuchas una voz audible, sino más bien una corriente de pensamientos. So first I had to open to hear the stream of thoughts, or I might say, be aware of the stream of thoughts. Entonces primero tuve que abrirme a oír esta corriente de pensamientos, o más bien, a estar consciente de esta corriente de pensamientos. Then I had to let it 
It's literally take the voice of David. Take, speak through the body of David. Y literalmente esta corriente de pensamientos tomó la voz de David. Es decir, habló a través de la voz de David. And that was the most difficult part because David was very shy. Y esta fue la parte más difícil porque David era muy tímido. And David was very embarrassed by the word Jesus. Y a David le apenaba mucho la palabra Jesús. And David was told by his parents, don't speak about God or politics. Y a David le dijeron sus papás que jamás hablara de Dios o de política. So it took some surrender to let the, the Spirit come through and speak through the body of David. Entonces él tuvo que rendirse a, 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 a dejar justamente que esta corriente hablara a través de él, que hablara a través de la voz de David. It's the same process that Francis and Suzanne have gone through of trusting the words just to be given. There's not a, there's never a sense of preparation. No, no un sentido de preparación. I was talking to Francis recently and she said, my mind is completely blank. <laughs> so she says, I was sitting in front of a group and my mind is completely blank. I don't even have a thought of speaking a word. But from that blank state of mind, a lot of words can come. Pero es a partir de este estado de tener la mente en blanco que llegan muchas palabras. It's it's related with, with your question. Mm -hmm. Like, how can you? Of course, you have. You, I can see you have great or total peace of mind. But I, how can you differentiate when you started? How can you? How did you know that it was the spirit talking to you, or was it your thoughts? How can you tell, or how can you? I mean, I know you you have to meditate and connect with that. But sometimes lately, it's been very difficult for me to do that, and I I I'm not able to hear anything. Sometimes I think like twice or thrice I've heard like I know for for sure that's something that's being told to me. But I right now I don't know how to differentiate. Or, or to distinguish, distinguish exactly into the which are the words or how can I let that those words come to me? How can I just shut the chat right now? Es algo que te llega del espíritu o es que es algo que tú generaste, que si son que son tus palabras. No sé cómo puedes tú reconocer si son tus propias palabras lo que estás diciendo o algo que te llega, porque yo he tenido una experiencia personal que me cuesta trabajo distinguir. Incluso he estado en ocasiones en que me pregunto hasta dos o tres veces, bueno, lo que estoy oyendo es mío o es well, this is a question on the topic of what I call discernment. Discernment. And for most everyone, this, this journey into discernment is a lifelong journey. Y para la mayoría, este camino hacia el discernimiento es un camino que recorremos durante toda nuestra vida. Uh, to put things in perspective in my life, um, I'll use an example. Para poner las cosas en perspectiva, voy a darles un ejemplo de mi vida. Not long ago, Frances and I were talking, and she heard uh, an interview that a man named Christian had done with me. No hace mucho tiempo, Francis y yo estábamos dando una plática y ella escuchó una entrevista que un hombre que se llamaba Christian me había hecho. And he was asking me, when did you start the course? When did you really start the course? Y él me estaba preguntando, ¿cuándo empezaste el curso? ¿Cuándo empezaste de veras el curso? And Francis heard me describe the years, what was happening in my mind before the course came into my life. 
Y Francis escuchó mientras yo decía, bueno, en tales años que era lo que estaba pasando por mi mente antes de que yo empezara por el curso. And Francis said to me, I knew it. You were into A Course in Miracles before A Course in Miracles. <laughs> Y él me dijo, yo ya, ella me dijo, yo ya lo sabía. Tú estabas ya en el curso de milagros antes de que apareciera el curso de milagros. She said, you did not learn the course through reading the course. You knew it before you started reading. Él me dijo, tú no tomaste el curso de milagros porque lo leíste. Tú ya sabías el contenido del curso de milagros antes de leer el libro. And I said, yes, that's true. <laughs> and it reminded me of, of a, a, a teaching from A Course in Miracles. It said, enlightenment is but a recognition, not a change at all. So let's just look at the meaning of the word recognize. Consideremos por un momento el significado de la palabra reconocer. To recognize someone or something, you must have already known it before. Porque para reconocer algo o alguien, lo tuviste que haber conocido antes. So, when I came to A Course in Miracles, I wasn't really trying to learn it. Entonces, cuando yo llegué por primera vez a entrar en contacto con el curso de milagros, yo no estaba tratando de aprenderlo verdaderamente. When I first opened it up, I just felt like, like a giant wave of love go over me. La primera vez que yo abrí el libro, sentí como una gigantesca ola de amor que venía hacia mí. And at that point in my life, I could pick up any book and tell you the author's assumptions about the world. Y en esa época de mi vida yo podía tomar cualquier libro y decirles, mira, esto es lo que el autor del libro presupone acerca del mundo. But when I opened up A Course in Miracles, I was like, oh, this Pero, author is not in time and space. Cuando yo abrí El Curso de Milagros dije, el que escribió esto no estaba en el tiempo y en el espacio. This author has no assumptions. No tenía ninguna presuposición. I had a direct recognition of Jesus Christ and the presence of Christ when I first opened the book. So, at the beginning, I decided not to read the book like other books. <coughs> I decided to use the book more like I Ching or like an oracle. Because it was not from time and space. <laughs> Whatever was behind this book knew all the answers. <laughs> and I could feel that. So I would pray and I would ask a question in my mind. Entonces lo que yo hacía era rezar y hacer una pregunta en mi mente. And I would just open the book. Y luego abría el libro al azar. And get the answer to my prayer. Y ahí encontraba la respuesta a mi oración. So I did it over and over, again and again and again. Y lo hice una y otra y otra vez. And it, it always gave me the answer, every single time. Y cada vez me daba la respuesta. One time I was even saying, oh, I'm... I'm having so much resistance. Um, I, I don't even want to read this book. I said, that, but Jesus, can you help me? <laughs> so I opened the book up. And in the course it said, when you find resistance high <laughs> and dedication weak, <laughs> you are not ready. <laughs> Do not fight yourself. <laughs> so I closed the book. <laughs> I went out for a walk. <laughs> I had a little swim. <laughs> I, I, I learned to trust those experiences and not try to force anything or push anything. 
traté de confiar en esas experiencias y no tratar de forzar nada. I thought, a book that tells you to close the book? <laughs> That's got to be the Christ. <laughs> a book that tells you that there are many pathways to God and this isn't the only way to God? <laughs> That's got to be the Christ. So, so that's how it worked for me. Y así es como las cosas se dieron en mi casa. ¿Puedo hacer un comentario rápido? Can I make a quick comment? Yeah. Eh, gracias Thank por you. estar aquí. Thank you for being here. Y yo pensé que estaba loca. And I thought I was crazy. Porque en ocasiones se había un libro. Me daba mucho miedo. Porque me daba mucho miedo. Eso quiere decir que todos nosotros sabemos el curso de milagros. Nacemos con el conocimiento y que solamente al leerlo recordamos las verdades universales crísticas que nos dice el curso de milagros. Es un recordar lo que verdaderamente somos. Así lo es. Sí, así es. David, have you been married? David, uh, has estado casado? Because we as a couple, we, we have a plan for the future, and uh, supposedly it is to to have a nice and easy way to spend our last years together, our <coughs> ancient time. And uh, I don't imagine Aurora uh, hearing me to say I'm quitting to my to my uh, company. Uh, not uh, having a concrete way of living and uh, be open to to hear both people, uh, well, Jesus. Uh, I usually listen to Jesus and I'm sure that in different ways I have been in front of him, I recognize it, I, I, I feel the energy, yeah. but I feel a lot of fear to taking some decisions going against all those things that we have been taught during 50 years. So, really not a question, it's, really a, it's, it's a, a problem of mine. Can you talk about that? Have, have you been related to someone? Uh, have you been in a couple? And uh, have, uh, I don't know, it's, it's difficult to... Yeah, well, it's very good, that's very practical. Yeah, yeah. Bueno, yo tengo una pregunta. David, ¿alguna vez has estado casado? Porque nosotros estamos aquí como, como pareja y yo pues tengo planes como pareja, tenemos planes para, para el futuro. Yo no pienso en algún momento decirle a Aurora, oye, ¿sabes qué? Voy a, voy a dejar mi, mi trabajo, voy a dejar la compañía donde yo trabajo. Y yo veo que nosotros tenemos un, un futuro proyectos con un futuro como pareja, pero eso no quiere decir que yo también escucho a, a Jesús, yo también eh, he estado sintiendo la energía, pero por el otro lado también tengo miedo de tomar decisiones que van en contra de las enseñanzas que yo he recibido por muchos años y de las enseñanzas que me dieron por muchos años. Entonces, en realidad, no creo que te esté haciendo una pregunta, sino que más bien estoy hablando de lo que me pasa a mí. Yo te quisiera preguntar, entonces, bueno, ¿alguna vez tú has estado en una situación de pareja? ¿Cómo, cómo poder integrar todo esto que nos estás diciendo? Yes. Well, to start off with the very first question was, am I or have I been married? Not in a, a legal sense, like the world would say, uh, a legal marriage, even though I have a ring and I kind of use it as a reminder of being married to Christ. Mira, vamos a comenzar por tu primera pregunta, que es si yo he estado casado. No he estado casado en el sentido legal, de tener una pareja legal. Incluso si tú te fijas, yo llevo un anillo de matrimonio, pero ese es 
And to ask to relate to your question about partnerships, that um, concepts like partnership are, are something that the Holy Spirit can use and does use as part of your forgiveness process on earth. So even though I have not been legally married, I have been guided through the years into partnerships that have been extremely helpful at forgiving the darkness, the unconscious darkness that had to be released. Entonces, si bien yo no he estado legalmente casado, sí he tenido pues esta guía que me ha llevado a parejas que me han llevado que me han llevado a enfrentarme a esa oscuridad, a esos miedos que a través de la relación de pareja yo he podido liberar. So, well, like nowadays, um, I, not too long ago, I went to Spain and uh, two people asked me to marry them. No hace mucho estuve en España y dos personas me propusieron matrimonio. Not me married them, but me married the couple. Ah. <laughs> Although I have had, I have had, I have had marriage requests, but this is, this is just terrible. <laughs> we're sticking one terrible list. So, so, they were in the audience when I was giving a talk about union and living in union with God. Ellos eran parte del público cuando yo estaba dando una plática acerca de la unión y vivir en unión con Dios. And the Holy Spirit said, uh, the best wedding vow ever would be, I love you now. Y el, el Espíritu Santo dijo, el mejor voto matrimonial es, I, am, es, I love you now. Es, te amo ahora. Even though I didn't know that the bride and the groom were in the audience. Incluso sin que yo supiera que la novia y el novio estaban entre los asistentes. So the next day when they got all dressed up and to get married. Entonces al día siguiente cuando ya llegaron todos vestidos para casarse. I said, uh, what would you like your vows to be? Yo les pregunté, bueno, ¿cuáles quieren que sean sus votos matrimoniales? And they both chose, I love you now. Uh, y los dos dijeron, <laughs> te amo ahora. And any type of partnership is a commitment. Y cualquier forma de, de sociedad o de asociación es un, un compromiso. But really you are making a very deep commitment to forgiveness. Pero en realidad lo que estás haciendo es comprometiéndote muy profundamente con el perdón. To get away from ego projection and ego blame. Alejarte de las proyecciones del ego y de echar culpas como te mueve el ego a hacer and start to take complete responsibility for your state of mind. Y empezar a aceptar una total responsabilidad por el estado de tu mente. Yeah. And so, I see that, that everything, every relationship is, is given by the Spirit for a very high purpose. Entonces yo veo que todas las relaciones nos son dadas por el Espíritu Santo para servir un propósito muy elevado. And there are some relationships like the partnership that you have that also can be given over to the Holy Spirit. So really you're using the relationship for a purification of your heart. And A Course in Miracles has nine chapters uh, on special relationships and holy relationships. El curso de, de milagros tiene nueve capítulos sobre eh, relaciones, relaciones sagradas. So this is a, a pathway that uses relationships as part of the forgiveness process. Entonces ese es un camino que usa las relaciones como parte del proceso del perdón. And it helps you get clearer on your guidance. Y te ayuda a estar más claro acerca de tu guía. So, you have to be very, very practical. Entonces, tienes que ser sumamente práctico. Of course, when you come together in a partnership, there will be expectations. Desde luego, pues, cuando decides unirte con una pareja, hay expectativas. 
And these expectations are based on past learning and projected into the future. Y estas expectativas están basadas en experiencias anteriores que has tenido y proyecciones hacia el futuro. But you can still practice learning to trust in present guidance. Pero eso no quiere decir que todavía puedes aprender a, ser, a ser, sentir esta guía en el presente. And that helps take you back to the kingdom of heaven. Y estar en el presente es lo que te lleva de regreso al reino de los cielos. Which is really just a present state of mind. Que es en realidad un estado de mente que te lleva a estar constantemente en el presente. If we, I think uh, Suzanne was saying maybe we could take just a little break and then of course we all have our, uh, mm -hmm. we have different relationship parables of how the Holy Spirit has used relationship um, because uh, Francis Yuhang was married and Suzanne was married and so they have their own parables on how the Holy Spirit used their lives. Yeah, I love that the Course of Miracles is awakening through relationship. Eh, me parece que ahorita Susan me está haciendo la señal para que tomemos un descanso, pero quiero decir antes de que salgamos a un descanso que tanto Francis como Susan tienen sus propias parábolas en sus vidas respectivas en torno a las relaciones, porque las dos han estado casadas y Susan dice, bueno, para mí una relación de pareja es una manera de tomar conciencia. So it's very exciting when you do have a relationship to be used in a way that the Holy Spirit can wake you up. Entonces para mí me entusiasma mucho cuando uno entra en una relación de pareja, que esa es la forma que tiene el Espíritu Santo para despertar. It can be the fast track. Puede ser la vía rápida. So we look forward to talking about that more. Entonces sí, espero poderles hablar acerca de este tema. It's like a 10 minute break. ¿Qué les parece si nos tomamos 10 minutos? This is Living Miracles Productions. To learn more about David Hoffmeister and the Living Miracles community, please visit www.acim.cc and www.acim.me.